Today, I would like to welcome Wang Xiaoming for our Chinese National Day interview. So we would like to know more about the Chinese people today at Chinese National Day. So uh, Wang Xiaoming is a violin prodigy from China. He is a concert master at Open House Zürich. He is a first violin at the Stradivari Quartet and the founder of Ming Classics. And in my opinion, one of the best violin players in the world. Welcome, Wang Xiaoming. Thank you, Cardi Baby. It's my great pleasure to have this um, meeting with you and uh, on this special big day uh, for, for me, for us. Um, nice, uh, nice to see you here via Zoom. Yes, thank you, Wang Xiaoming. So uh, today we would like to know a little bit more about you, about your life. What always interested me was where did you actually grow up in China? Actually, I'm, I'm born in, in China in a beautiful city. The name is Jinan of Shandong province. Maybe you know Kung Fu Chiu's from uh, Shandong province, the uh, capital city of Shandong province. So Confucius, so uh, okay, nearby Confucius hometown or just uh, at the same place almost, right? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. And um, when did you get interested in playing the violin? Um, that's a good question. Actually, I don't know how I did get this interest into the violin, but I still remember, or maybe my parents still also always told me when I was three, I, by one day, I used two chopsticks and then um, coming to here and I tried to copy the moving with chopsticks the first, maybe mm -hmm. that first uh, um, interested uh, into the violin. Um, um, then I started actually uh, uh, with my violin from four years old, exactly on my birthday. Oh, wow. And you've played like uh, almost every day since then. Yeah, until today. <laughs> mm -hmm. In which schools and university did you then actually study music? So you said you got your violin at four years old. And then how did it um, yeah. progress? Uh, uh, I started, uh, of course, in my hometown uh, in Jinan. There I found uh, my first teacher. Um, actually, my fir real first teacher is my father. Mm -hmm. He allowed me uh, and uh, uh, to into the music world. Actually, he's a hobby music uh, musician. Also, love to play violin. And um, he give my, um, he, my uh, he give to me his dream and to follow his dream and on this world. Of course, I started in Jinan. Now, uh, um, there is the uh, starting like a um, private lessons for the first, um, yeah, until to nine years old. And I moved to Beijing when I was uh, nine years old. I moved to um, the, uh, uh, the premier school of the Central Conservatory of Music, Beijing. Uh, this school is which one for me. Uh, one of the best or two of the best, uh, another one is in Shanghai. And uh, uh, there's the, in the whole China, uh, every year, um, a lot of uh, great, talented uh, young musicians go to there to, to make the exam who can get the very limited uh, uh, space uh, for, for the school entrance. I was very lucky. Um, during, um, in, that was, uh, 1992, I think I moved to Beijing and I got one position of the school and, and then I really step by step uh, follow, um, the violin life from there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wow. And you said you moved there at nine, nine years of age, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. With your family, or you were like um, in the, a student there? Um. Uh, of course, it's for nine years old. The kid is not uh, easy to um, stay at home without uh, parents. Um, my mother was with me uh, at the first beginning years. Mm -hmm. uh, 
also move to Beijing. And um, we say always during um, uh, around the school, there's the um, like a family villages. So a lot of um, young family and the parents coming uh, with the um, children uh, to support them to study there. I was one of them from this family. And to today, I think they do, uh, around the school still uh, there's the villages for the family. You know, there that time um, the Lang Lang, also we were in the same school, same class. So well, we know each other also from nine years old. Oh, wow. Okay. That's another famous musician, of course. Yes. Yeah. You already said your parents, they, they supported you, right? They helped you to uh, pursue this dream, right? Would you say they are, they were, um, yeah, you could almost say instrumental in your success, right? The support of your parents, right? Without um, their support, I will not become today. Uh, it's every um, every step, every uh, second uh, behind me is really uh, make make my life. Do you think Western classical music is uh, popular in China? Very popular in China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I recently I just uh, read them from the newspaper. You know how many. Um, uh, how many pianists in China they learn the piano behind me? Um, no, I don't know. What I read or I hear like a 30 million. 30 million? Wow. <laughs> this is like, um, yeah, f four or five times Switzerland, everybody learning piano, right? Yeah. It's only I just spoke about the piano, but there's also violin player, there's also singer, uh, also Chinese traditional instrument like arhu or guzheng. Um, there in China today, um, it's really very very popular uh, to uh, to learn to uh, to uh, to want to know the Western music language. I think today, yeah. What do you consider is your personal greatest achievement in music so far? Oh my. I mean, there yeah. are many, of course, but yes. Yeah, there are really many, but uh, um, I really, first I have to thank to my family. Um, they uh, give to me this special life and which one I really very much enjoy. And I think music life uh, for me um, somehow also um, similar um, um, with another uh, maybe uh, professional like sports, or like a um, officer in, in, in the office. Um, this is um, my, um, my um, work, let's see. But the, which one this work, um, I really um, enjoy uh, not only from the stage. Also, I was I'm also enjoy to practice, and also I enjoy uh, to use my music note to uh, to uh, um, to discover another language, which is without the words, and then to through my violin to give my. Um, thinking to the audience yeah yeah, yeah. Um, today i also um uh give my violin to my kids my both kids they are also violinist but um, just to um to see how they like it you have not only played i would say in probably many or even all of the most famous concert halls in europe but you also played in China in many, many concert halls. So um, are there many concert halls in China? And maybe are there some concert halls that you would especially recommend to go there also? Yes, yes, absolutely. It's a very good question. Uh, actually, from 2008, uh, where in, um, in Beijing, there's a 
uh, Olympic game um, started the opening. I think during their uh, that years until today, every year in China built a lot of beautiful uh, concert halls and uh, or theaters, museum, which one um, change a lot of um, culture life for the Chinese. Uh, and I was there a couple very, very, um, from my high recommends, um, if you are in Beijing, you have to go to the egg, <laughs> let's see egg, because mm. uh, performance art center. Uh, this build is really uh, special before you into the concert hall, because you go under the water and then to the concert hall. There's the couple halls there, concert hall, um, opera house, um, theater, um, and the chamber music hall. Uh, this is huge. There's several very, very beautiful, special also with uh, an acoustic. If you want to sit in there and then you can really um, become the best acoustic, um, maybe all of them from the, all the world. Do you think um, that music can bring people of the world closer together? Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, played the concert on tour. Um, recently, I just, um, the day before yesterday, I came back from Italy. And um, I had a concert tour in, in Cremona, also in Trieste. Uh, oh, for for me um, to speak um, like right now, I like very much speak, but uh, I more like speak with my violin from the stage. I can um, really understand during the from the stage and the audience. There's a connection. Only use the the music words. Uh, for example, I played. Um, couple of days ago in Verdi um, Theater. Um, in the encore, I, I chose a, a very famous Verdi piece. And then I didn't announce that, um, just played from the stage. And at the end of the audience, you can see they are really suddenly, and then at the beginning time, they catch that. They, they really love that. There's the language. You mentioned you went to Cremona. And what is Cremona exactly? What is so special about this town, Cremona? There's a violin city uh, in the world. <laughs> the, the violin is from um, this city um, really um, like um, 400 years, between 500 years ago. Um, violin maker um, uh, from the Cremona city uh, made the violin. One of the really master, real master, the, um, Antonio Stradivari was living there. I uh, also visited his home and placed several pieces also at his home, yeah. Wow, wonderful. And maybe the last question. Um, so you said you are, your children are also learning to play the violin now. Um, but if other children from other families would also like to follow your footsteps, what would you um, tell them? How should they start? Or what is important to, to become a good violin player? <laughs> violin play is not an easy job. I have to say the first beginning, but it's, uh, it's a lovely job. And... Uh, of course, for violin play, my opinion is when I was four years old or, or 10 years old, I didn't uh, learn for myself. I have to uh, um, become a violin player or professional musician. But enjoy, enjoy this work. It's very, very helpful to learn in, um, the instruments. Of course, the in learning instrument is a long uh, way and you uh, have to keep doing. And uh, keep doing, uh, so don't give up. It's very, also very important. It's not only um, the, key, the children, the kids, also the family. 
uh, support um, the parent side to support it. It's like a uh, circle um, you have to really keep doing. But one day when you arrive for a, a level, you really thinking that is my professional way. It's, it's absolutely another um, feeling, another world. You can so much come back. But don't worry if you don't go to the professional way. But I think the music is making your uh, mind, making your life more nicer. I mean, even uh, Einstein, who once lived in Switzerland, he also played the violin, right? So uh... he was very good violin. I listened to his a recording as well i found yes and uh, so if people would like to know more about you um i will put your uh, youtube uh, channel in the comments section of this video and um, again if you are aspiring to become um as good as wang Xiaoming, maybe in the future then you can also join i think ming classics right where you will also um teach a little bit the violin yeah. right Thank you very much, Wang Xiaoming. Uh, happy to, to have you here and um, yeah, wish you a happy Chinese National Day and to all your families and friends. And uh, yeah, see you another time then. Another time. Thank you, Carly.